Hello. Today I am going to explain bitwise operators. Bitwise operators means these operators work on bits. Bits are there in binary numbers, not in normal numbers. So, to understand these operators, first we need to know what are binary numbers. So, let us see what are binary numbers. And to know what is a binary number, let us first analyze what is decimal number. Decimal number. Let us take one example. 1, 2, 3, 4 is a decimal number. Now, how do we find its value? 1 into 1000 plus 2 into 100 plus 3 into 10 plus 4 into 1. This is how we calculate the value of this number, decimal number. This is a decimal number. So, 1 into 1000, 2 into 100, 3 into 10, 4 into 1. We can rewrite this as 1 into 10 cube plus 2 into 10 square plus 3 into 10 power 1 plus 4 into 1 is written as 10 power 0. So, this number is written as 1 into 10 cube plus 2 into 10 square plus 3 into 10 power 1 plus 4 into 10 power 0. So, 1 is in 10 power 3. Here it is 10 power 2, 10 power 1, 10 power 0. This is how we calculate the value of a decimal number. And here this is decimal number here the base is 10 base is 10 so that is why you used 10 cube 10 square 10 power 1 10 power 0 the base is 10 so base 10 this is called decimal system this is called decimal system and base 10 it has 10 numbers or 10 digits you can say. What are those? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 0 to 9, there are 10 digits or 10 numbers. This is base 10 and decimal system. Now let us see about binary number or binary system. Binary system. Binary system means base 2. In binary system, base is 2. So, it has two numbers that is 0 and 1. And the numbers in this, they have only these two one a decimal system we have digits from 0 to 9 any digit you can have whereas here there are only two digits that is 0 and 1 so any number in binary system has only two numbers in this 0 and 1 so if i say 1 1 0 1 0 1 something like that this is a binary number this is a binary number it has only zeros and ones it can be decimal number also Decimal number also can be there, but we are talking about only binary number. Okay. So, if this is a binary number and one more example, suppose 1, 0, 1. This is also binary number. So, binary numbers will have only zeros and ones in them. There is no other digit because it has only, it is a base is 2. So, numbers are zeros and ones. Now, how do you find the value of this? Suppose I say 0 binary. 
this value is zero if i say one binary one and if i say one zero binary how do you do this in decimal it is 10 but here how do you calculate it is a base is 10 so this is written as 1 into 2 power 1 plus 0 into 2 power 0 1 into 2 power 1 plus 0 into 2 power 0 so this is first position this is 0th position so for this we use 2 power 1 for this we use 2 power 0 so the value is this is 2 plus 0 becomes 2. So, 1 0 in binary means value is 2. Now, suppose 1 1 binary 1 1 what is its value? 1 into 2 power 1 plus again 1 into 2 power 0 is equal to this is 2 and 2 power 0 is 1 1 into 1 1 is 3 this is how we calculate the value of a binary number now let us take a bigger number for well, a number like 1011 binary how do we find out the value of this binary now here this is 0th position, 1st position, 2nd position, 3rd position. Remember this is 0th position, 1st position, 2nd position, 3rd position. So how do you evaluate? 1 into 2 power 3 plus 0 into 2 power 2 plus 1 into 2 power 1 plus 0 into 2 power 0 so is equal to this is 8 plus this is 0 plus that is 2 that is 0 total is 10 that means not 10 uh, sorry this is mistake 1 so this becomes 1 and this will be 11 so that means 1011 binary number is equal to 11 this is how we calculate suppose let us do the reverse suppose i have 15 decimal number how do we convert it to binary number let us see now let us have one useful reference that is 2 power 0 is 1, 2 power 1 is 2, 2 square is 4, 2 cube is 8, 2 power 4 is 16, 2 power 5 is 32. Like this you can have a table for ready reference before calculation. Now let us say 15. 15 means the highest power is 8 after 8 it is 16 16 is greater than 15 so let us take 8 first so 15 minus 8 okay let us see this so 8 is there in this highest is 8 so 8 is there so let us write 1 and subtract 8 from 15 so 15 minus 8 7 still we have 7 next compare what we have 4 okay so 4 is there in that so again put 1 subtract 4 in this 3 again go to this now 2 is also there in that so let's put 1 here subtract 2 we have 1 1 is also there let's put this this is how we calculate uh, binary number so 1 1 1 1 is the binary equivalent of 15 let's take one more suppose 10 decimal number 10 let us convert it to binary now highest 2 power is 8 in this so subtract you get 8 minus is 2 
so let us put 1 okay 2 1 2 4 8 16 like this so let's put 8 8 is there so 1 next 4 is not there in this so what is remaining 8 we have subtract from 10 you got 2 so 4 is not there in that so put 0 next come to 2 2 is there put 1 when you subtract 2 from this you get 0 so 1 is not there put 0 here so this is how we calculate convert a so 1010 0 binary is equal to decimal 10 this is how the decimal and uh, binary conversion is done now let us come to our binary bitwise operators bitwise operators we have r operator and exclusive r not this is r operator this is and operator this is exclusive r operator and this is not these are the four operators on bitwise there are some more we will see later now what will they do actually these operators they are said bitwise operators means they work on bits not on numbers actually they work bit by bit suppose we have one okay their symbols also we will see r operator symbol is vertical bar and operator ampersand exclusive or crown and not is exclamatory mark i think this 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 we have seen already but in the case of logical r it is two vertical bars bitwise r it is single vertical bar in the case of logical and it is two ampersands here bitwise r and it is single up like that there is a difference and here we have a new operation called exclusive r and it is count operation now we will see what are these operations each first r operation so 0 r 0 when two bits are r the result is 0 0 r 1 result is 1 or 1 r 0 result is 1 1 r 1 result is 1 so this is our operation so what does it mean when both are zeros the result is zero if at least one of them is one result is one that is the logic of our operation so r means if both bits are zeros result is zero if both bits are zeros result is zero if at least one bit is one result is one so if both bits are zeros result is zero if at least one bit so one bit are both the bits or ones then the result is one this is our operation now let us see take two numbers some two binary numbers say 10110 one, one, zero, something and there is one more binary number 11011 one, one, one. so this is one binary number this is one more binary number let us do our operation as per what we discussed just now now till this so to R these two numbers take each bit bit by bit you have to do so let us take the first one 0 1 R is 1 at least one of the ones if the one of the bits is 1 the result is 1 here both are ones result is 1 0 1 suppose let us assume this is also 0 
Now zero one is again one. Here both are zeros. Result is zero. Both are ones. Result is one. So if this number is R with this number, resulting is this number. This is how the R operation is calculated on two binary numbers. So when two binary numbers says R, bitwise R, then each bit is R. This is what happens. Let us see the other operations now. And means and operation. Zero and zero is equal to zero. Zero and one is equal to zero. One and zero is equal to zero. One and one is equal to one. So here you can observe. If both are ones, result is one. At least one of the bits is zero. Result is zero. So and operation means if both bits are zeros, result is zero. No, both bits are ones. Result is one. If at least one bit is zero result is zero this is and operation 